Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On this day, March the 10th, 1803, the General Assembly of the Mississippi Territory incorporated the city of Natchez, providing for a municipal government with, as it was noted at that time, extensive and summary powers. The Common Council, as the municipal governing body was called, was to consist of six appointed officials and nine elected ones. The governor would choose a mayor, a city clerk, a marshal, and three aldermen, while the local citizens would elect a treasurer, assessor, collector, and six assistants to the aldermen. After the election of the other officials, the Common Council met for the first time on April the 9th in 1803. Two weeks after the Act of Incorporation was passed, Territorial Governor William C. C. Claiborne appointed the merchant Mr. Samuel Brooks as the first mayor of the city of Natchez. An appointment uh, historian D. Clayton James described as a wise selection. The territorial mayors, such as Samuel Brooks, John Shaw, and Edward Turner, were characterized as men of small incomes and with Republican sympathies. For the most part, early city officials of Natchez were relatively young men who contributed vigor and fresh ideas to the newly elected and created local government of the city of Natchez. Hi, I'm Butch Brown. I'm the current mayor of Natchez, Mississippi, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.